Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jasmine Warren. And today is a very exciting day because it's New Year's Eve. This year, I'm celebrating New Year's in Charleston. Me, my sister, and my boyfriend will be going to dinner at a local restaurant that's really nice called The Establishment. So I just thought I'd do a little get ready with me. I'm gonna do my makeup. And then I'm gonna show you guys the dress that I'm wearing. And I'm gonna take you into the restaurant just a little bit just to show you kind of what it looks like because it's really cute and I would definitely recommend the establishment if you live in Charleston or if you're gonna make a trip here. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I like to start with my eyebrows and just fill them in. And this is the part that I least enjoy about doing my makeup because it's such a challenge to get them like looking even, although I don't know if you guys have ever heard, um, eyebrows are sisters and not twins. Sometimes my eyebrows are more like cousins, which is really annoying. I'm gonna get my brows done, like microbladed, next year in February. I wanted to do microbladed brows for a while, so I thought I'd just go ahead and give it a try. And of course, when I get my eyebrows microbladed, I will take you guys with me to do that. Oh, and just by the way, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Pencil in Dark Brown. What I'm gonna do next is take my concealer and I'm gonna attempt to carve out my brows. When I have carved out my brows with concealer, people always ask me like, oh, like where do you get your brows done? And obviously it looks crazy right now, but after it's all blended out, it will look wonderful. And again, just trying to make these as even as possible. I used to not do anything to my brows, but when you start doing your eyebrows, it really does make a big difference. I'm gonna use my foundation brush to just blend that out. And for under my eyebrow, I'm gonna use my finger because get lash extensions. I don't like to do anything too close to my lashes because I don't want to like disturb them. So I prefer to just blend with my finger. So the next step that I'm going to do is just a bit of color correcting. And I have this color corrector, this orange color corrector from Cover FX. So what I like to do is just do the little, I notice when I do the lines around my mouth, that foundation doesn't sink into the lines as much. And I have a cluster of three little scars that I cover up. And then I also do a little bit under my eyes because I have a little bit, just a tiny bit of darkness under my eyes. And just kind of, I don't know, blend that in. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Pro Flawless Airbrush brush and my Huda Beauty foundation in cocoa and I'm just gonna do two pumps on my brush I used to do that thing that you sometimes see on like Instagram where you like pump it directly onto your face but that's like that gets really messy and for me I found that if I get foundation on my clothes then it's never coming out when it's like a direct hit like that falls onto the shirt instead of my brush then it's over I like to drag it down onto my neck too so everything like blends okay so we have the foundation all blended out here looking very nice now it is time for some highlighting and concealing which i do really enjoy this is a new concealer that i bought I didn't know so much would come out at once, but I like to like come up onto my nose and fan it out and do the same thing on the other side. It'll be interesting to see how this looks because it looks pretty bright, doesn't it? And for those who aren't into makeup, I'm sure it looks like a lot of makeup, but there's no such thing as too much. Now, actually, I think for me, there is such a thing as too much makeup, but when I do my makeup and like blend everything all out most of the time people don't even know like how much makeup I'm wearing like I never look insane like I do right now I'm gonna use my foundation brush to blend out my concealer 
it just looks uh, nice. It looks kind of subtle. It doesn't look crazy anymore. I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to do eyeliner. And then like I said, I just kind of push it into the middle of my nose, blend it up here, and just down the bridge of my nose. Just look like I'm bright and I'm fresh and I'm awake ready for some New Year's festivities. And um, this is MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer. So now I'm just gonna do a little contour and this is like my like little contour palette. I only use a darkest shade and I'm pretty light-handed with my contour. Like I, I wanna look glamorous, but I'm not trying to make myself look like a drag queen. I have, I have like a bit of a cheekbone there already. So I just kind of put it right under there and I kind of have a skinny face anyway so this isn't really necessary but it just sculpts the face a little bit more so I just like to blend that out but I like to put it all around like the perimeter of my head and it's probably like barely visible but that's the way I kind of want it tonight is a fitting end to the way that this year went like this year was really really awesome and now I get to finish the year off with two of my favorite people. And this year has just been like such a blessing as far as romance, mental health. I'd actually say that this is the best year of my life because I feel like I kind of I finally have like things together. I did like pretty well in school, and then when I graduated, didn't like couldn't get a job to like save my life. So I worked on cruise ships for a little bit, which was a nightmare. Working on cruise ships is a nightmare just because of the hours that you work. Then just kind of struggle after the um, cruise ship thing, taught abroad for a little bit, but kind of just felt like directionless. I think that since I graduated, I probably lived in like three or four or five different cities, just trying to like figure out what I was doing. When you're on like a journey, you know, the wherever you're going when your destination is like so far on the horizon it really does feel a lot of times like you're just wandering aimlessly and you're hoping that you're going to get to where you want to be but you really have no idea if you're making any progress or like what's going on so that's how i felt um after college that like i just i had no idea what i was doing my life is no longer chaotic in any way I'm in a really good relationship, live in, a, live in a city that I enjoy. We're gonna do just a couple more things. This is a finishing powder, and it's a dark tan mineralized skin finish natural from MAC. So I'm just gonna put this on to kind of set everything, and then when I'm done with that, I'm gonna put on a little bit of highlighter to turn myself into a disco ball. Mmm, that smells nice. Just helps everything like blend in a little bit better. The last thing that I'm gonna do is use this Hyper Real Glow palette. It is a highlighter. Our different choices here. I'm gonna go with the darkest one. Ooh, my goodness gracious. That is so cute. Ah. Uh, do a little bit um, of highlighting in my tear ducts. I'm also gonna do that under my brow and I would do a whole hair thing but I'm not really into hair like that so I'm gonna keep my hair the way it is but what I will do is show you guys the dress that I'm gonna be wearing tonight because it's quite cute so this is what the dress looks like nice detailing there I really like this dress. I think it was a good choice. I think it is cute and classy, but also sexy. This is going to be my New Year's Eve look for this year. I'm excited to take you guys to the restaurant. I'll pick you guys back up so that you can see what I'm getting into. Hey guys, so we're getting ready to head to dinner. I'm in my dress now. It's actually pretty warm outside because we have mild winters here. 
So I will show you guys the restaurant once we get there. I'm getting ready to tuck into bed in a few minutes here. I'm um, still need to take my makeup off and all of that. But I just wanted to thank you for joining me on my vlog. I wanted to wish you a happy new year. I hope that all of the things that you're hoping for in the new year come true for you, that you work hard for them so that they can come true for you. Uh, this has been an amazing year. The end of the year was just as amazing as 2018 was. It's so crazy that it's 2019 now. It feels like it just came on so fast, but really looking forward to adventures of uh, 2019. I look forward to sharing them with you. I hope you guys have a really happy holiday. Go ahead and subscribe, like, comment um, if you want to see more videos like these. Then you'll definitely want to stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!